Growing a coconut palm from an embryo is called embryo culture. Sometimes we have to resort to this when a palm will not grow from a seed. We have some embryo cultured coconut plantlets here. The process is removing the embryo in the lab, growing it in a test tube in sterile conditions, growing it into different stages, changing the protocol till it becomes a little plant in the laboratory. It's then grown for six months at least in the laboratory and then brought out for hardening. Here is a small batch which has just come to greenhouse for hardening and in a few months, three months time, they will be ready to be planted in the field. The seedling will not grow. The coconut is very different. When you open the coconut, it's soft and fluffy and can be scooped out by a spoon. It's special because huge markets are developing around this coconut and each coconut is sold for two or three dollars. There are some varieties. Makapuno in Philippines, it's called Kopior in Indonesia and it's called uh, Ghee Coconut in the Andamans. Now that's one reason for embryo culture, to propagate that variety. But there are other reasons too, like transporting coconuts from across the globe with very minimum transportation costs. You can get maybe a hundred into a box this size, which would otherwise take a hundred times the space. One more advantage of the embryo culture plantlet is that it fulfills quarantine conditions very easily. Because it's grown up in the lab, it's free from any disease or bacteria or pest. And it's acceptable by most importing countries. This is the first embryo culture plantlet put into the ground, coming out of the lab and the greenhouse. Here we have two rows of trees embryo cultured plantlets put into the field going all the way up the hill. All factors of production being consistent with what we expected and so we feel embryo culture is a very good method for saving unique cultivars as well as for transporting them easily with less quarantine requirements inter-country.